everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Vanessa and today I have kind of a whole different type of video for you guys. I decided that we're going to be starting a new series. If you are new to my channel, hello, hi. Um, but I have a whole bunch of gluten-free videos, whether it's what I eat in a days or sandwiches, lunches, breakfasts, holiday type of things. I have a whole bunch, so I will link those down below for you guys to check out. But this time around, we're gonna be doing something so new and so exciting, in my opinion. I'm excited for it. But um, basically what we're gonna be doing is taking what restaurants, chain restaurants, fast food places, and your guys' favorites, and we're going to be trying to make them gluten-free. We're gonna attempt to do it. And yeah, so today what I have for you guys, if you guys have seen the thumbnail, obviously that's why you're here, but we are going to be making Panda Express's chow mein. Now if you guys are like me, I love Panda Express chow mein. I know, I'm not saying it's not authentic or anything, but I'm just saying like I actually love the way Panda Express does their chow mein. And of course, we can't have it anymore. If you guys are like me, gluten-free or celiac or just one of the other bowel stomach issues that we have to suffer by not only our stomach, but we have to suffer by giving up all of our favorite foods. So we are attempting to make gluten-free chow mein taste like Panda Express and I'm hoping that we do it. And like I said, um, actually, I don't think I've said it yet. This is going to be either a two-parter, three-parter, four-parter, depending on what you guys like and if you guys end up liking these videos. So yeah, we're going to be making this and check out my next video. Also, we have Panda Express's orange chicken, which, oh my God, not to, to my own, but We'll, we'll talk about that one later. So if you guys would like to see the way that I make my chow mein Panda Express style or as close as we can, then go ahead and keep on watching. So this is everything that we're gonna need. We're gonna need ginger, garlic, oyster sauce, make sure it's gluten free, rice vinegar. We do liquid aminos because it's a little more saltier. So I use that as like a um, dark soy sauce substitute. We use normal gluten free soy sauce. I would go, um, like the sodium free, but you can do whichever one you want. And then these rice noodles right here. Um, I get them at Safeway. They're kind of at like almost every single store. So I'll show you a close up of them in a little bit. But we're gonna get the water boiling just so that way they're ready for the noodles because they kind of take a little bit of time to cook. Um, and then we're going to cut up everything kind of the exact same way that they do at Panda Express. So I'm just kind of gonna just shred the cabbage, cut the um, celery into little strips. You know how they do the little strips in, in their uh, chow mein, which I like. <laughs> but no matter what, they're gonna wilt down, so you can cut them however you like. And then we're also gonna do the same with the onion. Now, um, usually in any of my other recipes, I usually add the celery heart. You don't have to do that for this recipe. I didn't, but it's completely up to you. You can add the heart. I think that the heart adds so much more flavor, but, um, yeah, basically that's what we do. And with my leftover like stems and skin on like the onion and things like that, what I do is I put them in a bag and then I will boil it down and make vegetable broth so if you guys would like to see the way that I make my own veggie broth please let me know that way we always know that it's gluten free it's always safe because you definitely got to be careful with all the hidden stuff everywhere so I just make my own so if you guys want to see that video let me know and I will show you my veggie broth and my chicken broth to be honest I have both I haven't done beef broth yet though but yeah basically we're just going to kind of cut we, we want to match it as best as we can, so I'm trying to copy the exact same cut for each of these veggies. And as I've said in every single one of my other videos, please make this your own, please. Cause like I, 
I I always make recipes out that they are a suggestion, not that you have to follow it to a T. So please, if I'm missing something, that's what I'm I'm trying to explain. Like, if I'm missing something or you think that something could be better, please feel free, go for it, do it, let me know. That way I can switch it up. And if you're telling me it's gonna taste even better, I would love to know. Now, one thing that we do do a little bit different is for the onion, usually, you know, for any other meal, we do just normal onion in a pan and then we, we cook it up until it tra it's transluc translucent. I can't talk today. But what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna do a green onion and some garlic. And I don't think I added the ginger in just yet. I might have. Hold on, Let, let's see. Two seconds. <laughs> but nope, see, there's a ginger. Or no, that's garlic. Nope, see, there's a ginger. Just kidding, we did add it. But pretty much we are gonna cook that until everything is fragrant together. And when I'm telling you that just this alone makes your mouth water, it does. Because even my husband was like, what is that? And I was like, oh, this is what I'm cooking. And he was like, it smells so freaking good. So yes, this is what we're gonna cook instead. You can use normal onion if you want to, or shallots or whatever. But I think that the green onion gave it that, that flavor that it needs now this is the part that's the trickiest we do like what I mean uh, minos we put um, gluten-free soy sauce like I said it's kind of to mimic normal soy sauce and then dark soy sauce which is the liquid aminos and then we do some rice vinegar and then I did a little bit of oyster sauce and then I ended up doing hoisin because it was too salty it needed a little bit of sweetness now even with the hoisin which it I didn't think that the recipe needed I was just trying to find something sweet enough it still didn't really do it we added sugar right here and it still didn't really do it it wasn't getting sweet enough and I think it's because the sugar wasn't melting down it just was kind of staying crystallized because the sauce was cold at this point so instead what I added was brown sugar it did better but not what I wanted it to do so what I ended up doing was getting a cold glass of water or cold bowl of water and I think I had only done like less than a cup maybe like a half of a cup and then I did cornstarch and I just did a little bit until it got all frothy and like different looking not frothy kind of like um, cloudy and then I added it I will hopefully remember to put all of the measurements down below that way you guys can actually follow it and not just listening to me ramble on about it but this is what I mean like you do what needs to work for you I was going and tasting as I went like honestly this was like my first take and so I was just trying to get it right so you see the process that I go through and eventually it got there I think that the the flavor of it was perfect it wasn't too salty it wasn't too sweet it was the right mixture of everything and then there is the cornstarch and I think it worked out perfect so please feel free like I said I will leave everything down below the measurements and stuff but I think it worked out really really good and then once everything is fragrant ready to go then we will toss in our veggies and wilt them down this kind of takes a little bit of time so just kind of remember your time frame and when the noodles are gonna be done try to get your sauce done and just out of the way and then we're pretty much just waiting on the noodles now the noodles while all this is going on I'm waiting for the water and then once it's done I pop all of those in I have three bags of it that is this one there's multiple different kinds so you guys can use whatever you want but I just didn't use the season packets that's it but I did use these noodles because I like their texture a lot better and they hold up a lot better also and they also have that texture of chow mein which I love and I miss but pretty much wow can't talk pretty much once the noodles are cooked and the veggies are wilted then we are going to add it now I didn't strain mine because I don't have a strainer that's small enough to hold the noodles without them slipping through so instead what I just did was I picked them up and then I moved them into the pan and that's it <laughs> there's a little bit of water that gets into it but it's fine because we already have a sauce and everything going in with it and there's a lot going on so just make sure that they kind of strain a little bit if not <clears throat> my apologies I'm joking <laughs> Wow, we're back. See, something always happens when I do a voiceover. But pretty much we're gonna put it over and then we are going to add the sauce and just mix it up. I cook it down for maybe like another 
five minutes or so just to kind of make sure that the moisture kind of gets evaporated and that's it when i'm telling you that it tastes just like it it does the only thing that i might do a little bit different is make the sauce a little bit thicker that's about it but everything else was so good i get that the lighting right here sucks so it looks a little like off in color but i promise you it was so freaking good and it tasted like it like i'm not gonna lie it did taste like it and it tasted so good and it was just perfect you saw the beginning you see how the orange chicken and the chow mein look together i mean don't get me wrong it's not panda but it's pretty freaking close and for gluten free we are not suffering no more i hope you guys enjoyed it <laughs> And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already. But if not, that's fine. You're welcome back anytime. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Stay tuned for the orange chicken recipe. And if you guys end up liking these videos, then please leave down below the next one that you guys want me to test out from what restaurant and what type of meal on the menu or anything that you guys have in mind, please leave it down below and I would love to attempt it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.